Yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's gonna do. His striking is world-class, his ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. All right, so here he is, the former WWE superstar, now UFC fighter, CM Punk. UFC debut, of course, at UFC 203 in 2016 against Mickey Gall. That did not go his way. That said, you would be wise not to count out a man with this type of work ethic. You talked to Duke Rufus and the other guys at Rufus Sport in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is consistently one of the hardest workers in the gym. We'll see if that hard work in the gym translates into results in the octagon. This guy comes in with a wealth of grappling skills. He's great in the clinch, has solid takedowns, and he is very capable of finishing this fight with a submission after he gets it to the ground. And if he can close the distance, he can really take control of this matchup. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliotta. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's well, no fight. better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Pretty strong leg kick there, Joe, by Lee. Oh, that's a good strike there by CM Punk. Both fighters slow to attack, trying to get their timing down. Misses a huge hook to the head. but misses. Lands a punch. Oh, both men exchange. He scores a single leg takedown. 
Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. He's got the arm locked in. And his arm is out. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Punk's hammer fist there. That one gets blocked. In the full guard here. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by CM Punk. Excellent sweep. Look at that. Full mount. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. It's getting tighter. This could be the end. Stunning. And Stunning. And he really made it look easy. The round was about to end, sunk in the submission, and got the victory. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. C. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration. And it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the